hello what's up youtube photographer ronix sweat and in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you the best way to save your images if at all you don't want to run into the following issues the first issue being your images looking pale when you post them on social media the second issue being if at all your images change in color when you post them on social media and the third issue being if at all your images turn out to look a little bit blurry every single time you save and post them on social media so this is going to be about the best way to save your images so they can look very nice sharp and crisp with no color change issues when you share them on social media or when you put them on a different device so if at all this is what i've been looking for this is a tutorial for you and without further ado let's get started with this tutorial so right now you can see i already did the screen retouching and color grading on this very image so you can see quick before and after for everything so you can now come so what i do after retouching saving is the last thing that i have to do on an image so i simply come right here to file and you come to export and i use the option right here that says export as so when you click on that it's going to open up the export as window for you within photoshop so i'm just going to go through the settings right here so these are settings that you have to use when you're saving or exporting your images. So the very first thing you can see in the export as window, you can see that we have the preview. So under preview, this basically shows you the image that you want to export. It's going to load and it's going to appear in this area right here. So come to file settings and this is where you have to take maximum attention. So under file settings, make sure the format is jpeg because this is supported by most websites and social media so make sure you select jpeg and usually i prefer my quality to be at the maximum so different people may recommend around 80 percent but i prefer the best of the quality that is 100 percent that this photoshop can offer so it is 100 percent then usually i don't tamper with the width and height issues or options within the export as window then I come to a scale and make sure the scale is 100%. So remember, when you're exporting your image, you always want to, or the software that you're using to save your image, to add that kind of sharpening for screen whenever you're saving it. So in Photoshop or in this export as window, I make sure I come to resample and I select by cubic sharper. So what Photoshop is going to do, as it is saving the image, it is also going to be saving it as a sharp image or it is going to sharpen it for screen so usually if at all you have used lightroom before you can see that when you're going to export your files you have the option for the sharpening and you have that option that says sharpen for screen so this is going to basically do the same thing so i come and i select by cubic sharper and after that i leave the canvas size the way it is meant to be so you can add some corporate information if at all you wish to then I come to color space so this also helps to save the image better remember you have been doing a number of adjustments to your image and maybe you exported the image into Photoshop from maybe capture one or whichever software that was not having the color supported by Photoshop so always make sure you check these two options that says convert to sRGB make sure it is checked right here and also check the option that says embed color profile so what photoshop is going to do it is going to embed the colors that you are able to color grade and put on the image during the color grading process so when you're done doing all this just come and simply click on export and when you're done doing that you can see save as that is the name of the image then you can look for a location where you want to save the image and simply click on save so as soon as you save the image this window is going to automatically close and it is going to go back to photoshop so i already saved the image so i don't want to go through all that process so basically this is what i do when i'm saving images and i end up with sharp images or with photos that don't change in color when i post them and i don't end up with pale photos after posting them on social media so this is it for this tutorial and if actually i've learned something new from this tutorial make it a point that you hit the like button on this video so that youtube can push and recommend this tutorial to many people out there and this is going to be helping the channel grow Ronix from Ronix Photography 
thank you for watching and see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating